Welcome back, everyone, to the point and click community. We are the people with no to limited IT experience. Now, today it's all about your local user accounts. You might want to create a user account for your kids. I would suggest not making a Microsoft online account. Do a local user account. And I like to create them with a tool what's basically built in in a Windows 10 professional, not in the home edition, but we get to the home edition, what most of us use. We all create the accounts probably like this. We go. to here and then we step through that whole thing, you know, add an account and you have to go through all this for a local account. I don't like the process that Windows 10 has in here. While there are different ways you can use a DOS prompt or you can use a PowerShell, still a lot of typing involved. My favorite way to create them is basically in the local user manager. That's one thing typing and open this and in here I can now create account I can enable disable the built in administrator account. I'm not suggesting to enable it. What I suggest is with this account, I would rename it and uh, give it a password, a real strong password. But like I said, you can create user, you can create a new user. If you just want to enable one of the built-in accounts, you can also go in your security, local security policy And on the security options, you see here, these accounts, they're disabled. The only thing is you can only enable or disable that account here. Here you have an explanation. Like I said, be careful what you do with this account. But if you're inclined to enable that account, because maybe you don't like when you get the UAC pop-ups, I know, I know we are click and point community. We don't have to know anything about the UAC, but it is what it is. Just, uh, I just show you, you have an option to enable this account or a guest account. I would never enable a guest account on this computer. You can do this all in the local security policy also. Now let's switch to a Windows Home Edition. Yeah, well, and it went to sleep. Sorry about that. We get there. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So you will get notified when I drop a new video. For my point and click community, usually that is on Fridays. And on Tuesdays, we have the list. So now we are here at the Windows Home Edition. Let's try the same thing here. And you see, I get this. But now I can't do anything. Because may not be used in Windows 10. So to get that working. So let's download a little program. And I will get next week to Windows 11. The link will be in the description. I'm gonna download really quick that little app here. So now that we downloaded the program, let's just move it out of our downloads folder. 
Let's go to my disk. I go to program files. I create a new folder. You can move it wherever you want. I just like my a little bit structured. I just type user manager. Like I said, you can move it wherever you want it. I'm going to continue. And now I execute it. And here you go. Now it's easy to manage your local user accounts. You can just add a new account. So let's real quick make a new account here. And then we put it in the right group. We want to make sure we make it an administrator too because we want to be administrator. So I create an account really quick. I call it just test. And So let's see really quick our test account. It has the group membership of users only. We want to make sure it's an administrator. If it's your case, you want them only in the user accounts. But I add this to the administrators. And we are good here. I'm going to log off. So now we are logging in with our test account. It will take a little while. It just does its stuff in the background, creating your default directories and stuff. And you're good to go. That's it for this week. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Hope to see you back next week.